Hello guys, welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today I'm going to be showing you how you can make this awesome game house in your very own Minecraft world. Now, let me show you on a quick tour. So, we'll go inside. And this is it. It's awesome. So, here we have oh, we have some very nice modern lighting as well. Um we have uh, a three monitor gaming chair with a functional chair as well pretty lit um then we'll get out of this and then we'll come over here to our nintendo switch which you can play um yeah cool um here we have a pool table with again very discreet lighting. <coughs> oh. e. um, and really awesome pull cues as well using the use of lecterns, which is awesome. And a nice pool ball with a snowball in it. Uh, we also have this which has crafting tables and bookshelves and a chest and more lighting uh, and a bed so you can sleep. You must be a very dedicated gamer if you live here. <laughs> um, and because you've even got your own mini fridge that spits out Lucozoid and gummy bears. Just like that. Look, Lucozoid, gummy bear. Lucozoid, gummy bear. <laughs> Oh, I need that. Let's put our gummy bear and Lucozade back in there. And let's get into showing you how you can make this in your very own Minecraft world. Okay, so here I've got everything you're going to need for the building. You are going to need white concrete, smooth quartz stairs, grey stained glass panes, birch doors, smooth quartz slabs, light grey concrete, end rods, and oak leaves. So, I'm going to build this, so what you have to do is you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, thank you, honestly Minecraft, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, like that, then you want to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, Oops, stop doing that, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and then just connect this up along here. Boom. Easy. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to find the middle block. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So these two blocks here are the middle, and you want to come one block away. Like that. And one, two, three, four, five. Break that block there. And uh, yeah, that's where the door is going to be. Then you want to go one, two, three blocks high, four blocks even, and just fill the nest area here, and this bit here, and that bit there. I believe, yes. Uh, then we'll come over here, we'll go one, two, three. Wrong spot, Minecraft, wrong spot. Five. No. Two, three, four, and two, three, four. Awesome. Okay, so this is the sort of framework. I say sort of because sort of. Uh, so what you want to do is you just want to go and you want to connect this bit along here, like that. And you also want to connect this bit along here, like this. Boom. 
and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Not there, sir. That, and then finally this bit along here. You also want to miss a block here and fill that bit in there. Then I believe you miss, you fill in that bit there. Yeah, and then miss a block and then fill that in. And you want to fill this in as well. Just like so. Okie dokes. And then you want to start filling in the floor with grey concrete, I believe it's... No, light grey concrete, even. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to do this and I'll uh, probably cut to when I finish because this is going to take a while. Okay, so now I've just done the floor. And what we want to do is... We want to start on the roof now. Now the roof is, as you can probably tell, slightly different to a normal Minecraft roof. I mean, don't fall in a cave, thank you sir. In fact, I'm blocking it off so I never fall in again. Oof. Uh, yeah, as you can probably tell, the roof is ever so slightly different to a normal Minecraft roof. Normal Minecraft roof would be like, oh, badoo. This one's like, ew, it didn't do the badoo. I need to stop. Anyway, um, so what we're going to do is we are going to put quartz slabs along here, just like this. Two blocks out. And also along there, like that. Then, what I'm going to do, just so you get the picture of what I'm doing, is I'm going to do that. So, you're going to... So then we're going to go one half slab up, or one slab up, not half slab, it's a normal slab. Half slab would be what's missing out of a stair. Um, yeah, anyway, uh, go one slab up, and then one slab across. Then we'll go another slab up, and then another slab across. Slab up, another slab across. Slab up. A slab across, a slab up, a slab across, a slab up, a slab across. A slab up, a slab across. And then for this bit, this bit's ever so slightly different. You want to just do that and then that. So you're left with this sort of pattern. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make it so it's exactly the same length as the first one that we built. So there's a little overhang here and then it goes all the way across the roof. And there's another little overhang on this side. Like that. So we end up with this. I'm just going to do that now, and uh, yeah, see you when I've done that. Okay, so now the roof's done, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to fill in the windows. Now, personally, I like grey stained glass panes the best. I did try uh, white and black and light grey, but I think grey works the best, just because it does for me um but you can have any cl color glass that you like same with the walls and the ceiling and the floor you could have i don't know a floor of sponge and a wall 
walls of grass and a ceiling of TNT. It really doesn't matter. Personally, I don't think that combination would work very well, and I don't think you will either, because that's a really weird combination. Who has sponge, grass, and TNT in a house? I don't know. But you could have any blocks that you choose, um, as long as you have a half slab. I mean, it's not even a half slab. I need to stop saying that. Uh, a slab at the top, because otherwise it just look way too blocky and not great so yeah and if you don't like my design then uh yeah doesn't matter because i'm not the best builder in the universe i am probably one of the worst builders in the universe this is probably my best build in my entire life not including my house that i have on the realm but uh yeah Anyways, so I've just done the windows, now I'm going to add the door, put that there, and then we're going to open the door, close it, and have a smooth slab like that. I will put a pressure plate there, but when we're putting the computer, because that's the only other time that we use a pressure plate. Anyway, so that is almost the house done. I nearly forgot about the lighting whoopsie but there we go that is the house done there will be another light up there but i can't put one up there at the moment can i exactly so yeah so that's the house done let's move on to building the computer okay so everything you're going to need for this I've got right here, you are going to need some quartz slabs, some smooth quartz stairs, I should probably have them both the same, but that doesn't matter, um, some grey banners, some black dye, a loom, spruce trap doors, a rail, a minecart, a weighted pressure plate or an iron pressure plate or whatever, and stone button. It has to be stoned because otherwise it looks really weird. Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to put your loom down like that. And you want to open it up and put the grey banner in the first slot. Then you want to put the black dye in the second slot and make sure that the first one here is selected. None of the others. This one, that's very specific. Very specific? No, very specific. And then you want to get three of those if you're in survival mode, or just one of them if you're still in creative. <coughs> okay, now what you want to do is wherever you want your screens to be, you need to hang them on the wall. Like that, like that, and like that. Nice. Okay, then you want to put a upside down stair like that, and an upside down stair like that. And then this is the slightly tricky bit. You need to grab a block and put that there. And you need to make sure that you, you need to jump and place this upside down. So aim at the top half of the block at the same time. So like that. Now, if you're having trouble with that because you're doing this, you're placing it on the top or you're placing it like that. What you want to do is you want to look at just about just underneath where the block connects to the floor and you want to look just there in the top half of this block and you want to jump and then place it and that should work if that doesn't work then just keep trying it and yeah um, then what you want to do is you want to get your smooth quartz stairs like this put them like that and then your quartz slab like that Now, this isn't in the original design, but I actually think that we should have that just there, like that, and then we will put another one there, another, so, looms there, for like, little speakers, and then we can have quartz slabs going across the top, yeah, I think that looks quite nice, 
uh, I think we'll also put a quartz, no, a slab there. In fact, we'll get rid of those, put a slab there and a slab there, and put the stairs just there like that. That was a nice little desk and speaker design. In fact, we could probably get rid of that. And that. Just actually no. Uh, yeah, we'll just replace it with those. There we go. That looks quite cool. I like that. Okay, then what you want to do is you want to place your rail just there with the minecart on top. Then you want to come with your spruce trap doors and make sure you place them around here. You can't do it like that, because otherwise when you activate them, that'll be all funny. Uh, so you need to make sure that when you place them, that you're facing towards the minecart. Just like this. And then activate them. And that will make a cool little desk chair, and you can just hop in it. And try not to activate any of the trapdoors when you do so. Okay, so that is your little uh, desk design. Oh wait, no. <laughs> it would help if we had something to type with, wouldn't it? Yeah, that would really help. So there you go. You got your weighted pressure plate there and a button there for a keyboard. And uh, yeah, I think that looks quite nice. Okay, now let's move on to the pool table. Okay, so this is everything you're going to need for your pool table. You are going to need line carpet, lecterns, you could use signs as well if you wanted to, that might work better, spruce trap doors, snowball, item frame, string, a oh, sea lantern or any other light source that's a full block, and oak fences. Now, what you want to do is you want to come here and you want to build one there, then you want to skip three blocks, I think it's three blocks, yes it's three blocks, then you want to put another one there, so you've got three blocks in between the two fence posts. Okay, then you want to go one, two, three, four blocks gap, I believe, let me just check. Yep, a full block gap, and put a fence there, and then you want to do the same thing there. So you are left with a 6 by 5 area. Nice. Okay, now what you want to do is you want to fill the area in between the fences with string. And then fill everything in between the string with string. Okay, now that's done. What you want to do is you want to come to this side here and break this string, this string, and this string. And you want to come to the other side and do the same for this string, this string, and this string. And you want to replace it with lecterns. I will show you what it looks like with signs when I've finished. You've got to replace it with lecterns just like that. Okay. Now on top of everything, oh no, not yet. Um, you want to come over here. Hang on. I built it wrong. Oops. <laughs> um, yeah, that needs to be a fence there. You should have a five by five area uh, yeah a five by five area not a five by six there we go okay right now that's sorted you want to come over here on the in the middle lecterns and break this string here put a sea lantern there and then you want to come all the way over here and do the exact same on the other side. Nice. 
Okay. Then you want to grab your lime carpet and put it along the top of everything except the lecterns as you can't actually place them on lecterns. Okay, last few ones like that and on top of the fences as well. Nice. Okay, now for this one to put them on is ever so slightly different. We're not using pistons or anything. All you need to do is select the side of the carpet next to it and place it there. Because you can't place it directly on top of the lectern, you need to put it on the side, just there. Boop, boop, and boop. Nice. So as you can see, it's starting to come together a little bit. Okay. Now what you want to do is you want to put spruce trap doors everywhere except this block. So you want to go one two three four and the corners as well don't want to put them on the corners five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve thirteen fourteen if i can place that thank you minecraft 15 16 17 18 19 there you go and then you need to activate all of these. Mm, not placing the one. All there. Okay. So now you've done that, what you need to do is you need to get an item frame and put that just there. And put a snowball inside. And there you go. That's your pool table done. You've got the tops of the lecterns where the carpet goes through as the cues. And then you come down here and this is the snowball or the white ball that they use to push with the other balls around. Okay, yeah, I made a mistake. You can't use signs because if you place it, there's nothing there. That kind of makes sense, I suppose. So uh, yeah, let me just turn this back to lecterns and uh, yeah. Okay, so that's the board table done. Let's get building with the Nintendo Switch. Here is everything you're going to need for the Nintendo Switch. Why is that on my head? I don't want that on my head, thank you very much. Okay, you are going to need some quartz stairs, some armor stands, some cauldrons, two to be precise, two water buckets, two leather caps, a wither skeleton skull, a red dye and a blue dye. And you are also going to need some pist a piston and a redstone block to push stuff around. Okay. You'll also need your floor. Yeah. You're going to need your own floor. Okay. Anyways, so we need to come over here and you want to break these three blocks like that. You want to put an armor stand there, an armor stand there facing towards the middle armor stand, and then an armor stand there again facing towards the middle armor stand. Then you want to shift and right click this armor stand, right click this armor stand, and right click that armor stand to uh, put them in their second position. Then what you want to do is put down two cauldrons, fill them with water, put red dye in one of them, blue dye in the other one. Nice. Then you want to get your one of your leather caps, put one in there, dye it red, and put one in there, dye it blue. Then you want to give the armor stand on the left the red cap, and the armor stand on the right the blue cap. Then the armor stand in the middle need to have a wither skeleton skull. Anyway, I'm just going to quickly destroy that very quickly. Okay, as I've already got a block floor, a floor, block, what, did that, did that, whatever, there, I'm going to leave that there. And what you want to do is you want to put a block of redstone there and a piston there to push the guy with the red helmet into 
the guy here, so it looks like a weird dance type thing, I don't know, don't ask me. Um, <laughs> then you can just fill in this again. Boop. Boop. Okay. Then you need to do the same on the other side. Put a block of redstone there, and a piston there, and destroy those, and grab your block of floor, floor block, block of floor, um, whatever, and do that there. Then what you want to do is you want to get your quartz stairs, so you can get rid of your caps now, you will not need them again. You're going to get your quartz stairs, and you're going to get a random block, and you're going to put the block there, and you want to aim at the top half of the block so your stairs are placed upside down like that okay then you can just get rid of that block and try not to fall in the hole as well that helps a lot then you need to put a block of redstone there and before we push anything else we're going to put an upside down stair just there like that and an upside down stair there like that then for the magic part of not falling in the hole <laughs> I need to stop doing that that's really annoying okay you want to grab your pistons and put one there and boom you have an intent naughty hang on you have a Nintendo switch which you can play on oh you can, you can get rid of those by the way they they don't exist okay right now let's get building the uh i think it's called a cabin bed yeah that so for this you are going to need one no not one but spruce trap doors crafting tables bookshelves ladders chests spruce wood slabs a bed i'm using a red bed because i'm an og minecraft player but you can have whatever bed color you want an end rod a fern a flower pot and some leaves okay let's get building it so what you want to do is you want to come to here two blocks away from the wall our fridge will be going here and you want to put two blocks two bookshelves even <coughs> like that just there and you want to put another one on top i believe let me just check uh yes i think that's right no wait hang on yeah that's right uh and you want to skip two blocks again and do the same thing and you want to put ladders going on those ones and you want to break these two blocks and replace them with crafting tables and get your spruce trap doors and put, put them there as shelves then put your two chests like that then you want to come up to the top and just put two random blocks as long as they're at least half blocks not trap doors or anything and there and place the bed on it then destroy those blocks and replace them with trap doors there we go nice okay so next thing is this is the final thing as well you need to get your spruce wood slabs and put them all across here like that and then your trap doors need to come out just like this along there and uh that's almost it all we need to do now is get our oak leaves and our flower pot put our flower pot there and our end rod there, put our fern in the flower pot and put the oak leaves on top of the end rod and that's it, your little bed thing, you've got storage you've got crafting tables if you want you can swap out one of the crafting tables for a furnace but like who needs to cook anything, they've got their own fridge well, the fridge doesn't exist yet and that's what we're going to be making next. Okay, so this is everything you're going to need for your fridge. You're going to need one iron door, 
one block of iron, one dropper, one button, an anvil, 16 honey bottles, and 64 beetroot. These can be replaced with whatever you want in your fridge. I'm going to be naming them, that's why I have an anvil. You do not need an anvil if you don't want one. If you don't, or if you don't want to rename whatever you're putting in your fridge, basically. Anyway, let's get building it. This is really simple, one of the most simple fridge designs. You've probably seen most people build this somewhere else. So you put your dropper down here and your iron block on top. Then you turn around, put your iron door just there. Make sure it opens that way. Perfect. Then load this up, but not yet. You need to put down your anvil and put your honey bottles in there. Rename them to Lucasade, if I can spell correctly. And then put your beetroot in there. And do not rename it to beetroot hashtag, that is just weird. Rename it to Gummy Bears. Nice. Okay, then you can break the anvil. Put your Lucasoid and your gummy bears in the dropper. And voila, you have a fridge. Ooh, gummy bear. Uh, an, an artificial intelligence fridge that decides what you are having to eat or drink. Yeah, or you could just open it up if you want a very specific thing. Like lasagna, but there is no lasagna in Minecraft. Mojang, please add lasagna. <laughs> you don't need to add lasagna, it's fine. Anyway, that is your house done. That is awesome. It is a really nice thing. You've got a door, a three monitor setup, a Nintendo Switch, a nice pool table, a mini fridge, complete with LucasAid and gummy bears, a nice cabin bed with crafting tables and chests and nice plants and light up here and a bed. And uh, yeah, I think this looks really nice. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to slap that like button. And if you want to see more from me, please make sure you hit the subscribe button and slap bell to never miss another video. And I will see you next time. Goose out. <laughs>